morning. Welcome to Open Your Eyes, Start Your Morning Right. I'm Marlene Cuellar, and thank you for joining us this morning. It is, of course, another rainy day, and we have been expecting as much. We'll be providing you an update as to what's happening with the weather uh, with Francisca Wellington from the National Met Service. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. All right, staying dry? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, Francisca, give us the update. Uh, we know we're still feeling the effects of ETA. And uh, tell us what we can expect for today. Okay, we'll continue to see moist and unstable conditions, uh, clouded to overcast skies. And we'll be seeing frequent outbreaks of showers, uh, periods of rain, and thunderstorms. That will be for the next 24 hours. All right. And um, looking at the winds? Okay, winds will be out of the east and the northeast, 15 to 25 knots. And this will produce rough to very rough seas. So we still have a small craft warning in effect, and we are reminding operators of small craft to stay in safe harbor. Yeah, yeah. we've seen some images from some of the islands with some huge waves. Uh, of course, we hope that people are, are paying attention to the message and not heading out to sea. Um, right. What about our temperatures for today? Okay, we'll be seeing 68 up in the Maya Mountains and 78 elsewhere, mm -hmm. and then for overnight temperatures, we're seeing 62 up in the Maya Mountains, 68 inland, 78 along the coast. Okay. And uh, for tonight? The, in terms of the weather? Yeah. Yes, we'll continue to see um, outbreaks of showers and periods of rain and thunderstorms. All right. Now let's uh, talk about the update with ETA and what's happening there. Okay. Since 2 o'clock this morning, it is... Uh, depression mm -hmm. and it had a wind of 30 miles per hour it was about 90 miles south of la ceiba honduras and the system was moving west northwest at eight miles per hour mm -hmm. and the projection for the next few days okay it will continue on that west northwest track and then um moving towards the northeasterly um track after now, we were told in the beginning of the week uh, that the bulk of the rain would have happened uh, as of yesterday and it would start to, to slow down a bit. Is that still uh, the, the forecast? Uh, it will. Well, from what I'm seeing, the update is that we will continue to see quite a lot today and then we begin, we'll begin to see the decrease tomorrow night. All right. And do we have so, any... Uh -huh. Second? No, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, so we see from today, uh, let's say from tomorrow, we'll be seeing a gradual decrease. What I'm saying, gradual. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow night, we'll be seeing a, a bigger um, decrease in the rainfall activity. Mm -hmm. So come Saturday, we'll be seeing um, generally fair conditions. Okay. And talking about uh, the rainfall, um, how, how many inches have we seen? And is, uh, the concentration has been primarily in the south, right? That's right. Well, from what we are having here, we've highlighted that um, the Maya Mountains so far have seen 14.1 inches. And then um, we are seeing in Belmopan, uh, 5.8 inches. Benke, 4.5 inches. Blue Creek in the south, 4.9. Mm -hmm. um, Char Creek in the west, 5.3 inches. Gales Point. So um, from what we are seeing, it's not necessarily the south right now. It's more like central areas getting the bulk of the rainfall. Mm -hmm. But we still have today and tomorrow. Yeah, and it, and it still has to make that curve uh, just at the south of us. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the flood warning, um, it's been extended to the entire country, right? That's right, that's for sure. All right. And uh, anything else uh, that we need to be paying attention to? Of course, we can't take our eyes off ether right now, but uh, tell us what, sh what we should be looking for. Okay, well, you, the f general public should continue to listen to their radios, to their television, and stick to official information from NEMO and the National Med Service. Mm. And please do take heed to what they are saying. 
Now, I just I have one final question. Just looking at that turn that's supposed to happen. Um, I know sometimes the models are a bit different. Is it most likely, uh, as we're seeing on the screen right now, to turn uh, by Friday and head out to sea and strengthen? That's right. That's what uh, the Hurricane Center is projecting, and they have been consistent with that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for that update. You're welcome. You have a great day today. Thanks, and same to you. Okay. Bye-bye. There you have it. That is the weather update for today. Rain, rain, and more rain. But uh, on a serious note, though, we do know that there is a flood warning for the entire country. And so, in fact, what we're going to do is uh, do a check-in with Al Westby. Al is the uh, NEMO coordinator um, for Belize City. And we have him online. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Al. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. I understand you're Hello. out already. Say again? I understand that you're out already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Long night, long day. That's, that's the nature of the job. Yeah. So let's talk about what we're seeing so far um, in, in the effects of ETA. Um, there's been substantial flooding in different parts of the country. Uh, tell us what you know so far. Well, at this moment, um, since ETA, we start tracking ETA, we were warned by our chief met that it will be dangerous for getting to water in within our low line areas and river banks. Um, especially in the southern and western parts of the country, which we were, um, which we were um, looking at. Yeah. Nevertheless, it came um, from Monday. Actually, over the weekend, we started sending out notices to these communities, um, especially the most vulnerable. And Monday, I follow up with our coordinator to continue to do the same. Yeah. Now, While I reach at this stage, um, most people were on their pro um, proactive measures and was scared of it. But as usual, we have people who will wait for last minute. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, at this time, we are presently on some rescue mission within the Color Creek area who you know that um, suffered, been through this 2008, yeah. CD16. Yeah. I, you might hear a lot of chuckling in the background um, because I'm driving, I'm, I'm on the road. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from, trying to reach out back from Color Creek, which okay. is early this morning. Water is quite high. Yeah. Um, it's going, it's continuously going up, but I'm afraid that I can get trapped between the village and the highway, so I have to make it out back as quick as I could. We have the soldiers in there right now, be there doing rescue mission. They're going house to house and helping people out to the higher grounds at this moment. So that entire area is going to be evacuated today? Excuse me, say again? That entire area is going to be evacuated today? Um, most of it, mm -hmm. most of it. They have um, high grounds that they are presently at now in the community. Mm -hmm. If things get um, if things get worse, then we have to take them completely out of the village. Mm -hmm. So we are monitoring it pretty pretty close at this moment. So Kala Creek is currently. You said you do it. They're doing a, a rescue mission right now, moving people to higher <laughs> ground. What are some yes, of the um, other areas uh, that you're keeping a close eye on that you want residents to pay attention to the waters? Um, the entire um, riverbank, the lower line areas, the flood mm -hmm. areas, those people know what affects them every year. I'm at this moment leaving here in Calabric. I'll be on my way to Bullet Tree. Mm -hmm. We were in Bullet Tree last night up to after midnight or so. Mm -hmm. We had people who were relocating to the community center just in case. Um, I've been in touch with the 
members of the village council there. So at this point, I'm heading there. Um, I finally made it out the last part of this water. Praise God. Yeah. So I'm heading now to the highway. I'm, I'll be heading to Bullet Tree and see um, what is happening there at this yeah. moment. We know that we have areas like the areas of the Balan family mm -hmm. and the Hime family. These are large families. I'm telling you about um, the Hime families, are like probably 20, 30 households. These are large families within the area. One of the things that affects these communities at this point with flooding is um, water shortage, though, because they have the rudimentary water system, and whenever it floods, they have to pull up their pumps or break the line or something like that. So this is something that we have to move on quick and make sure that um, they have um, enough drinking water within their communities at this point. Yeah. Now, uh, from the area that you have assessed so far, how high is the water? Um, uh, right, right now, the water is about, um, from what I saw, how close I could have reached the the Calacrita um, Hammock Bridge. It hasn't covered it as yet, but looking at the the way the water is rising, it should be covered um, before the day is out. Mm -hmm. It's on part of the the land in the village already. Mm -hmm. So we have about probably three feet of water in part of the village already. Mm -hmm. And is it fast moving? Is it fast moving? Is the water fast moving? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It is. And this is something that we have to really pay keen attention to. Yeah. Um, they, you know, they're all farmers too. They do backyard farming. A lot of them have, have like um, a dozen head of cattle. Mm -hmm. They have X amount of um, yard, yard fowls and things like that. Sheep, goat. So um, we don't want them to lose their crop and um, their animals the crops of course this mom the, the the small crops they have within the area will be damaged of course but to make sure that they move their animal ahead of time on higher grounds and i went into the while i was in the community i saw that happening and that was really um, I, I really love seeing that yeah now Al, do we do we know how many people in in terms of numbers um have been moved to higher ground at this point, um, in Color Creek, I would estimate I um, I was waiting for a number from the chairperson, but he, he was all the way in the back in a canoe with the soldiers getting out some more people. But from what I see by the, um, the church there, we have about 80 or uh, between 80 and 100 people there yeah so that's a lot of people who are going to be seeking shelter do you anticipate yes, that there will be even more evacuations taking place today as long as it continues like this it will be a very busy day for us that yeah. i could tell you yeah the med service says that there's definitely going to be a, a whole lot of showers today as well um or at least for the next 24 hours um We've seen, uh, as of yesterday, where people are waiting until the last minute, till the water starts to come in, uh, to call for help. Um, what's your advice to residents right now who live along uh, flood-prone areas? Um, it's, it, it's, quite, it's quite simple. Um, this is a song we sing every year to them. Um, some take heed, some doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, a typical example, because I want to clear this up after um, on air, um, I saw a lot of Facebook posts pertaining to some um, a family who um, um, who asked for assistance in rescue in um, behind the um, hospital area. Mm -hmm. I know. You, I think you saw that. Yes. In in in, in Cairo. Um, ju just to clear this up, um, we are acquainted, very much acquainted with this family. We are very much acquainted with the area, and we know the impact of any rain within that area. This particular family 
was warned from Monday to get out via text and call, and they refused. They wait until the last minute to do such. What we are saying to everybody in this um, nation, we will not risk our people's lives doing rescue at night. It, it's very dangerous, especially in floodwaters. Mm -hmm. Our soldiers already taking a lick and we will not risk their lives. Please, we ask, please, please heed to move early. Move safe. If you don't have somewhere to go, we will have to open a shelter to put, to put you in there. Mm -hmm. So that's all we're asking. The other, the other, um, the other point, um, they need to look at at this moment. Where is this water going? Yeah. This will be going down into the Belize River Valley. Seattle mm -hmm. ranchers, take note. Between Saturday and Sunday, you shall start to see a difference within your area. Our coordinators in the Belize rural area already know there should be warning these people already to make sure that they put all their livestock as much as they can on higher ground because it could be a devastating loss in this time. Mm -hmm. In this time, mm -hmm. an error. Please, we're asking. Those are the simple, simple yeah. things we're asking. We have to work with us. Work with us. We are, we are not a million strong. So you but have the support of the BDF it. with you right now? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Okay, and and they're being yes, deployed to other parts of the country too, if needed. Of course, and I and I and I really, really, really have to give the BDF a lot of kudos, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they 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 they've been out with us last night, early this morning. Uh, in fact, as soon as we call, mm -hmm. the call from Calapri actually didn't came to us; it came to the BDF, mm -hmm. and they informed us um, about what four o'clock this morning, mm -hmm. and we jump on it right away. Now, as, as you said just now, you're, you're trying to get out of the area before it floods. What about the status of uh, the roads? Um, is there anything we need to keep an eye on? Because we know people will still be moving around, and it's dangerous to drive in floodwaters. Well, the, the status of the road right now, there's um, within the George right away from... San Ignacio to the Georgeville area. It's very bad due to due to the repair dam and the work being done on the road. Um, it's there. There's some ditches. Um, drivers really, really need to um, take control and drive safely. However, if the road is is um. If the road is being left as it is, they can't run hard or drive fast because there's a lot of patrols. But at this point, from the San Ignacio to Venke side of it, it's okay. We, you know, we have that little spot that we monitor with um, within the Sokot Venke area mm -hmm. with the rising of the river. Yes, we are looking at that pretty close. Mm -hmm. We get um. We get a situation report from that era almost every hour from our guy we have out there. Yeah. Um, from Anwar to Belmapan, I think the, the, the road is okay according to our mm -hmm. coordinator. And I, and I noticed the other coordinator um, reporting that buses are running, so that's a good sign for us. Yeah. Now, the central area of Belize um, is, is where we're seeing um, the flooding at this point in time. Um, but you, Julian, you, you noted something important, that the water is going to keep on moving and we're going to keep on getting more rains, at least within the next 24 to 48 hours we're sure of. Um, what's your advice to other residents who right now may feel safe? I'm sorry, what areas? What me. areas should be on the lookout, knowing that the water has to move down, and that we're expecting another 24 to 48 hours of rain? Yeah, we we continue on the the, and again, as I said, the Bullet Tree area, mm -hmm. Santa Familia, um, going right down to the the Belize um, River Valley. These are the areas that 
will be affected in in a couple of days' time. Um, containers like this definitely, Bullet Tree, Color Creek will have to evacuate everybody from Color Creek then. So their respective shelters in um, Sokot. So this this is a this is a this is a game, a cat and mouse game we're really playing today. Okay. All right, and who do people call if uh, they are in a situation where they need to be evacuated? Please repeat, sorry. Who do people call? Where do they get in touch <laughs> if they need to be evacuated? Okay, they, um, it's on our website. Yeah. They can call, they can call my number at any time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But better than that, we have a, we have a hotline. Okay. 936-936. It's toll free. Okay. 936? 936. Okay. So people it's can call free. the hotline. And then, and then um, that's our operations officer. Mm -hmm. And he would forward whatever, whatever necessary message to the, re to the relevant um, coordinator or regional coordinator as, as myself. Because every region has a regional coordinator. We have three regions. Yeah. But right. For me, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much responsible for the central region, the okay. region which is from Benke, San Ignacio, Belmaban, mm -hmm. Belize City, Belize Rural, San Pedro and Kikaka. So I have the bigger, the larger portion of it. But anybody who wants to um, speak to me direct could always call me at 614-8604. Okay. Well, Al, we appreciate you taking the time to give us the update. We know uh, there is a flood warning for the entire country at this time, uh, but we have started to see the effects in the central area, and clearly uh, you guys have been hard at work so far. Yes, ma'am, and um, whatever information we could um, help with, mm -hmm. We are privy to do so, and what? Um, and it's vice versa. If you guys get any calls for help or anything, feel free to call me at any time. Yeah, we'll definitely pass that on. Thank you very much, and stay safe. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. There you have it. That was uh, Al Westby, who is the Nemo coordinator for uh, the central area of Belize. He is currently driving. If you um, could have heard that, he was uh, coming out of Cala Creek where there were evacuations being made this morning. He said it was about 80 people so far that they have moved. Uh, they may have to move more as the water continues to rise. Um, we, we just heard the Met Service report that uh, at least for the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to be seeing more showers, um, much like we've been seeing over the past couple of days as ETA continues to make its way through the uh, Central America and then eventually um, hopefully by Friday makes its way out uh, towards the Caribbean Sea.